Cookie Swirl. See? <laughs> Cookies, it's time for Stray. We are back in. I hope this is the episode that we can get this cute, adorable little cat back to its other cat family. It's been gone for so long. So we were on our way back to talk with Momo, which, where is Momo? Play with cat toy? <laughs> Listen to the radio? Anything? No, not even the robot station is on. What is this? Outsiders. What's on the TV? Look, a note. Uh-oh, Momo's note. Yes? Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. Why wouldn't I be? Did Momo think that the cat died? I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. Huh, okay. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is. That's not simple. What is that? Be careful. It is case sensitive. See you at the bar, Momo. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. Uh, B12, did you get that? You got the code, right? Hopefully B12 got it. I mean, B12's a robot, Momo's a robot. Oh, here's Momo's bed. <gasps> you can hide under the bed. Look at what he looks at. He looks loves all the pictures of the tropical world. He needs trees so bad. Momo has no idea what a tree is. Back home too. Oh, that's a nice picture. Is there anything else that is needed before we head out? Anything else? Momo needs to go shopping. He's out of groceries. He only has stuff that's refrigeratable. What is that? Look at all this robot food. It's all oil stuff. What is that? <gasps> no, bad cat. No, stop clawing the wall. No, stop it. Kitty. Okay, the kitty's just being bad. Okay, stop. <laughs> Oops, I guess that's my note back to Momo. So he'll never forget this cute cat. All right, it's time to go out. No, you can still claw the door. Kitty. Okay, that's enough. Okay, use the code. Here's the lock for the window. The code was, was, it was, uh, I think, oh no, B12. Oh no, B12 doesn't know what it is. Error, wrong key. Oops, my bad. Okay, let's try that again. Was it an O or capital O? Let's see. Okay, B12 got it. It worked. Okay, we can leave. Oh, <gasps> wait a minute. Momo does know what plants are. Look at the little plants that are right here. He actually has a lot of plants in here. This is a really nice place. It really is. Oh, the music is playing. We got the music to work. Is that coming from the radio? Yeah, this is really nice. We are out. Let's go meet Momo at the bar. Oh, he like locked his door. Look at that. All right, Momo, we're on our way. Where's the bar? So let's start heading down carefully. That is a long way down. Oh no, look, they're still cleaning up that paint. You guys remember whenever the two robots were throwing the paint can? Oh, look how convenient this is. Wee. Oop. Knock that down. Somebody can sit right here. This is nice. Maybe Momo's been hanging out right up here. There are those two robots. Oh, they probably feel so bad. Yeah, do they feel bad for dropping that paint? My friend and I love tossing buckets at each other. Good, clean fun. Our downstairs neighbor disagrees. We're taking a break right now. Smart. Oop. Have we talked with this robot? Jump down here. Hi. Oh, they've got a rainbow face. Hi. Hey, little fella. Oh, it's Momo. Hey, little furball. Come here. I managed to get a signal. Yes. It's going to work. Hi. What are they doing? They're just out here pretending like nothing weird is going on. Hi. Oh, sit right here. Oh. Let me see if I can get this thing working. Okay, start working on it. Momo can figure it out. Okay, it's got like a little face on the screen. I almost got it. Okay. Hello, can anyone hear me? Who is that? Hello. Yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We are looking for a way out and dot, dot, dot. Wait, is that you? Baltazar, Momo? I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. Up where? Up and out? Did They got out of the slums. Hello, do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Oh no. Sewers, hello? How? We lost the signal. I can't believe it. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if, but if they made it, there must be a way. There has to be. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, we lost the signal. It's over. Okay, but at least we got some information. Ooh, how bad are the sewers gonna be? They're gonna be bad. You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Yeah, I know, they like to eat cat. It's horrible. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you, your business is none of my business. Okay, there he goes. Thank you. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Look at our faces. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue. To the apartment, let's go. Okay, well, we're going to a secret lab? You can talk with Teddy. Grandma made me the scarf. Isn't it wonderful? She knits so well. It is nice. Howdy. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, sorry. I know. I put my cat prints right into the paint. Ooh, mannequin. This is it? This is the secret lab? 
I mean, it's not that secret. It's just like right in the middle of town. Open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. What are we gonna do? Well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me, but you. Me? I think I have an idea. Do you want me to call the door? You can almost look right in there. He has a can of cat food out. Well, what is that, sardines? Here, take Doc's notebook and show it. This is it. Is that him hiding right there? It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. <gasps> Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try to reestablish communication with the others. Okay, let's try to find it. Remember, give him the notebook, find the weapon that his father was working on. Okay, should I just claw at the door? Just jump up here? <gasps> There's another robot. Hopefully they have no idea what we're doing. How am I gonna get in there? I need to find a way in. Can I shock the door? Oh, what is this? There's a little hidey hole. Am I in? This is the apartment? I've got something under their bed. Oh, there he is, relaxing. Ah! What are you doing here? I told you, getting through the sewers is suicide mission. Leave me be. Here, look, look at the notebook. Find the notebook. This one, show item. What is this? Wait, it's my papa's. Oh wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? They have no idea about the secret lab. Let's take a little look around the apartment here. Mm -hmm. Nice pictures, okay. Cans that I'm knocking over. Ooh, hopefully that wasn't important. What is this? No, no, kitty. Why did the cat do that? The cat just wants to knock everything down. Kitty, oh, look at that. There's a secret message right there. B12, what does it say? Time will tell. Anything else? We're just making a giant mess in the apartment. Oh, but he's looking. What do you think? Time will tell. Is that some kind of clue? Maybe. I don't know, what does it mean? Is there anything over here? See, that's all probably robot food. That's what it looks like. It's just stored in those like metal cylinders. Look at all these clocks. Why? Time will tell, but time doesn't speak. What does that mean? There has to be another clue. Oh no, I can knock all these down. <gasps> Hopefully he doesn't get too mad. Okay, knock them down. What is that? And is there anything behind this one? No, but we found something. Okay, B12, you know the code, right? Who knows the code? Is there a code around here? I don't know the code. There has to be a code. Something has to be translated other than time will tell. I never noticed that digi code before. How did I miss it? I have no idea what the password could be. Oh, wait, what is this? We've got a code on the phone, 9987. Should we try that? We're gonna try it. Okay, use code 9987. No, there has to be another code somewhere. Is there something with time will tell? The clocks are weird. Could the clock be the code? They're all pointing at different things like two, five, one, one, right? Let's try that. Two, five, one, one. Oh, that worked, that worked. So what do we have in here? Welcome to the secret lab. He really had no idea his dad was in here. I've never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints, they must be for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. I wonder if it worked. Ooh, he's got a Zerk right here. Now we can see what one actually looks like. Translation, old bacteria of human time, Eats all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark. React to intense light. Okay. Find anything interesting in here? Yeah, there's a Zerk right here. What do you think? He managed to get one and kill one. Ew, there's more on the table. Oh, we found something. What'd you find? He has it right next to his coffee. Robot news headlines. Zerks are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. <gasps> They'll even attack robots. That cannot be good. What is this? Deflexor blueprint. Objective 20 Zerks destroyed per second. High priority, test in real condition. Well, that's why he left. So we could actually test it. What's in here? There's something in the box. What is it? You wanna see what's in the box? Nothing? Or did this fall out of it? What is that? It's just a box in a box. What's up here? We'll knock this box down. Oh, there's something. Take a broken tracker. We got a tracker. What do you think about this? Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find out where he went. I can't believe it. My Papa might still be alive. I've missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My Papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slums should be able to help. Come with me, I'll open the door for you. Yes. Oh no, the cat, it was stuck to the box. Look at it, he's just walking through the mess in his apartment. All right, we did it. Thank you. You gotta fix that tracker. You're resourceful. Maybe you can find someone in the slums to help. Okay, I will. Thank you. Why wouldn't he help Momo? That was very strange. All right, let's go back and talk with Momo. Ooh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I'm walking here with my little cute paw prints. Momo, I'm really struggling to get the connection back. Did you find anything interesting? Yes, I did. Look, show the tracker. Interesting device, but it looks broken. Maybe someone in the village can help you repair it. Did you ask at the bar? 
Hello. All right, let's show this. Show the track. What a beautiful object and rare too. I know a guy who fixes stuff like this. He's very talented. Just a little, well, you'll see. His name is Elliot. His office is just left up here near grandma's shop. There are signs all over his door. Okay, fine, Elliot. That should be easy enough. They said just left of here. Ooh, maybe I can understand this. Grandma's clothing. This way. Okay, this is grandma's clothing, right? Yeah, there's grandma. So is this it? Maybe jump up here? Jump all the way up. There's a window I can climb into. We'll try going up here. Go through. Oh no, this is just the upper story of the bar. Carl's here. This is the newspaper from the people living above on level two. It's a few years old, but it's something to read. Oh, these poor robots. So that wasn't quite it. Oh, Elliot programming. This way. Oh, this must be it. Elliot programming, we found it. Knock on the door and wait for us to open. Okay, kitty paw. This is me knocking. This is a cat knocking. Hello? Hi, are you, are you Elliot? Oh, he just let me in. Hi, is this the right place? Oh, he fell asleep. He fell asleep. Okay, let's translate this. We were programmed to be slaves, but since this many days, we have a soul. Hope one day the outsiders will find the exit. Momo, hopefully we can get them out. They really need to get out. Ooh, this is a really nice kitchen. Elliot's got a ton of robot food. Look at it. Plays darts and piano? Oh, okay. Really is out of tune though. <laughs> Bunk bed. He's got a roommate. Oh, there's a sheet music too. It's got a nice plant in the corner. All right, let's wake him up. Uh, hello. You're here for Elliot? He's just over there. Oh, this is the roommate. Show item. Let's see what he thinks of the broken of the broken tracker. You should show that to Elliot. Okay, he doesn't care. What does he think about the energy drink? I've heard that the barter man is looking for stuff like that. Oh, okay. He's back to sleep. All right, let's go upstairs. Oh, look at that. He's tinkering away. You can remember. What did you get, B12? The tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. That's what the humans would have wanted. New memory. Ooh, what's behind here? Probably shouldn't be doing that. Someone's got a nice window. Ew, look at the toilet. It's got a plant growing out of it. This is really nice. Oh, he sleeps up here. He doesn't even sleep downstairs on the bunk bed. He sleeps right here. Or maybe right here. There could be a lot of robots staying here. Oops, sorry. Hi. Yes, can I help you? Show item. Show the broken tracker. Oh, wow, that's a great tracker. Recognize that model as a Tohima BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. <gasps> What's wrong? I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I think I need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. Oh, wait, wait. I think I have something. I have a poncho in here. I have a poncho. Take this. Oh, where did you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. Take it. Oh, look, no tremors. I'm able to work again. Robots get cold? I didn't know that. Thanks, now I can definitely fix your tracker. Let me take a look. Just gotta give it an update and one more thing, voila. Yes, fixed tracker. There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you are looking for. <gasps> Perfect, that was so great, thank you. Look it, they've got like a tiny little screen on their face. His face is so small. All right, but he's so busy up here. Oh, okay, okay, now I'm just making a mess. Okay, kitty, let's not do that. Thanks again for the poncho. Come back anytime, by the way. Do I look pale to you? No, I think you got that normal robot color. Oh yeah, you could really mess up the space. Hopefully in the next episode, we're gonna be able to find Papa and get the rest of the robots outside by beautiful cookie fans. Mm -hmm.